let's see what's inside the bag. Very nice little bag, by the way. Looking inside, you have a CD with probably the software on it. You have a warranty card. You have a set of instructions, which are in three different languages. And from looking over this instruction manual, it is the absolute bare minimum on how to operate this camera. It's a little foreboding that they wouldn't really tell you too much about it. Looking in the bag here, you have a sun filter, it looks like. You've got an auxiliary battery case. Looks like you use AA batteries in it. You have a charger unit with the cord. Looks like a nice little charging unit. And the charging base. And of course you've got the battery that goes along with it. There's another cord in here which I'm not exactly sure what it's for. It's got RCA plugs on it. I can't remember the last time I saw RCA plugs. When I originally opened this package, it was a little ominous just to see this kind of a cable in a modern camera. And looking inside here you have a wide angle lens which it's cheesy, it's lightweight, it doesn't have any kind of a focus. This is not looking real good. You also have a telephoto lens here which is also extremely fragile and cheesy. It says right on it manual focus, it doesn't even have an autofocus. And running the focus back and forth here, it's very rough and inconsistent and the whole unit just feels very fragile. Looking at the camera here, it's a bit smaller than I had expected. This is where you put the card in. Did not come with a card. Up here on top you have some ports. And to open up the screen here, it's a bugger to get the screen open. The screen does turn back and forth. You've got your telephoto, wide angle, and your other controls here. It's got a tiny little lens on it. Just from first impression, cheesy. It seems to be very cheap and cheesy, very lightweight, very not heavy duty. This unit was advertised as a professional quality camera and at least from first impressions it definitely is not. Well let's see how it works. After looking at this camera and all the accessories, all I've got to say is, well, the one word that comes to my mind is cheap. It's a cheap little camera. And who uses RCA plugs anymore? I don't even have anything that uses those kind of plugs anymore. I found it to be a very substandard product. Now here I did a little test picture. The camera is on a tripod. Nobody is touching the camera. The house isn't bouncing around. And look at the picture quality really poor. Look at the way that the picture is bouncing around. I was so surprised that, well, I couldn't believe it at first. So what I did, after looking at this picture, is I made a second one. You'll see the second video come up here in just a second. I have no idea why a camera would bounce around like this. All the other video cameras that I've ever had well, they may not put out a real good picture, but they won't bounce around like this. If any of you guys have an idea of why the camera's doing this, I would actually like to know. Now remember, the camera was on a tripod. The remote works well but only right in front of the camera. The charger is a nice little charger. The case is very nice, but the telephoto lens is very flimsy and it's manual focus and the manual focus works really poorly. The wide angle lens is also very flimsy and it gives very distorted pictures. Here's a nice square door. There's another square door. Notice that it's not square. It's all rounded on the edges. The camera also does not handle light change as well. See how poorly it deals with the light change there? 
Let's try it again. Look at how poorly it handles the light here. And it's not a gigantically, very hugely sunny day that I'm taking this picture. It's broken high clouds, so it's not that intense. But the picture's just awful. I wouldn't expect such poor quality out of a camera that costs this much. The zoom's another thing that works very poorly on it. See how choppy it is? It's like it's stepped, it's not smooth. Bang, 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 bang. You'd think for a camera that costs $250, you'd at least be able to have a smooth zoom back and forth. Very poor quality camera. As you can tell, I'm not happy with this purchase. Let's try it again here. Now, did you also notice the focus? I don't know what the deal is. On the big stuff, it'll focus on. On the small stuff, it does a lousy job of focusing. This is more like a $50 camera than a $250 camera. I don't think it's $250 quality. Okay, I set the camera on the HD. I made sure that uh, it was very, very much on HD. And if it won't produce a better picture than this in good lighting, then it certainly is not HD. This camera was a complete letdown. Now, this camera was sold on eBay as professional. You'll see it right there. It's anything but a professional camera. This might be a toy. This is the website I bought it from. Be real careful, don't buy one of these cameras from these people. Here's the eBay ad, this is what it looks like. Don't buy this camera, I'm telling you. They also sell some other cameras which I'm sure have the exact same parts just in a different frame. Now, I can't imagine that all these cameras are any better than the one that I bought, so I'm saying don't buy these cameras. It's not worth the money. Now, if it was a $50 camera, I'd say you bet. If you want more information, please contact me. I would be delighted to fill you.